Hey everybody, welcome to Babe Life Fit. I'm Laura Milroy, your plus size fitness coach and motivator. As many of you who are following my journey know, I am currently like eight months pregnant and on bed rest. I am using my precious sitting time to make this video um, because I wanted to talk to anybody else out there who is on bed rest or downtime um, due to pregnancy and injury, whatever else, because there are some really great tips about staying healthy while you're on bed rest. It's really easy to get defeated while you're on bed rest and I myself have totally succumbed in moments to feeling sorry for myself and you know thinking that I don't need to take care of myself as much um, because there's things that I just can't do right now. But that's really the opposite of what you need to be doing and while you're on bed rest, especially if you're um, growing a baby, there are some really vital things that you can do to stay healthy and not get completely off track. Not only does it gonna help your physical health, but it really actually helps your mental health as well because for anybody going through <clears throat> a difficult pregnancy like I am or who on bed rest due to an injury, you know how defeating and frustrating it can be and that's just something I wanted to talk to you about because <laughs> this has been like the hardest season of my life. So there are a few things that I realized that have really helped me stay healthy and stay in a good mind frame while in bed rest. The first one is eating well. I don't mean like staying on your diet or whatever else, especially if you're um, pregnant or you're on bed rest for an injury there, you might have some specific dietary things that you need to look after just in or because your um, lifestyle has changed, you have less time to spend meal prepping or cooking meals or whatever else. While you're on bed rest, there might be some specific things that you need to change about your nutrition or your diet because your lifestyle has changed. So, you know, depending on what your goals are, or what your doctor has talked to you about, you might want to lower your calorie intake. I'm not saying you have to be perfect all the time, but obviously you can't cook as much, you can't meal prep as much. It's harder to move around to get around the kitchen even. There are some things that are very difficult to do to maintain that sort of same level of normalcy that you would have if you weren't on bed rest. Eating well is so important. So, you know, just focusing on getting lots of fruit and veggies and lots of protein. And, you know, it doesn't mean you can't indulge once in a while. I definitely have been having more pizza than I usually do. But honestly, when I eat well, I feel better. I feel like I am contributing back to my health in a way that I can't do physically through a workout or, you know, the same kind of eating style that I would have if I wasn't pregnant and if I wasn't on bed rest. But every little bit that you do contribute helps. So make sure you're not going completely off track on your nutrition. Eat healthy, it'll make your body feel good, which will make you feel good. Second thing, make sure you stretch. I don't know if anybody else is like this, but my back is so jacked up because I have been lying down, I've been on my side, and especially with pregnancy, it's like you, you're you having to like flip flop back and forth all the time because the baby's in a certain position or you know your back gets uncomfortable or you know your body, your, your arm starts to lose um, a feeling and you get the, the pins and needles and stuff. And so it's really important to um, move around a bit, but also stretch, get your arm stretches in, go over your head, um, for those of you who can get a massage, get that circulation going, make sure you're still moving enough so your body doesn't completely atrophy and um, it's actually like feels like it's engaged and it like it also feels really good and it makes you feel like you know you're doing something to contribute to your body's health instead of just lying around all the time. The third thing I would say, and probably the most important one, is asking for help. This is something that has been really, really difficult for me uh, during this pregnancy. It has been a very trying time for my family. Um, there's been a lot going on. Uh, we started a renovation that we are not going to be able to finish because I'm on bed rest. We had to move out um, during some of the noisier, dirtier parts of the renovation and go stay with my parents. And it's just, it's hard. And 
there were times where my husband could just, you know, couldn't take the day off work and my daughter would be homesick and I couldn't take care of her. I wasn't able, I can't pick her up. I can't, you know, go up every five minutes to get her a new snack or change the channel or do whatever else. And, you know, there were times where I just, I had no other option but to ask for help. And the fact of the matter is, is you really realize that the community you've built around yourself is so much stronger than you give it credit for. So many people have come out of the woodwork offering to help us, offering to, um, you know, do whatever they can, just a little bunch of little small things to help us through a really difficult period. And everybody that has offered to do something, I'm trying to say yes. And it's difficult because we've grown up in a society and I grew up in a family where, you know, we were just sort of, expected to be independent and uh it's been really hard to lean on other people that being said everyone that i've asked for help or anyone who's given us help have been so generous and have been so helpful and we've appreciated it so much and our relationship has grown stronger and i know that if they ever needed anything that i would be able to help them and feel real really good about it it can be a really hard thing asking for help and yet, when I take a step back, I recognize that I want to live in a community of people that help each other and are supporting one another and are there for each other during the difficult periods. And if I'm not doing it and if I'm not asking for help, then how are they going to do that when it's their turn and they need some help? And I would be more than happy to help them when uh, their time comes. So it's hard to get through some of these difficult periods and it's hard to break some of the habits of feeling like we need to do everything ourselves and be everything for everyone. But when I, I found when I crossed that hurdle, it became a lot easier and I got what I needed and my relationships with a bunch of my friends and family have actually improved. So make sure you're asking for help. So these are my tips on staying healthy during bed rest. I hope you like them. If any of you are on bed rest, I'd love to hear any of your tips on staying healthy and staying positive in the comments below. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see any more videos that I have coming up. And check out the links below so that you can see uh, my journey on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. For anybody else out there who's going through a pregnancy on bed rest or laid up from an injury, I am sending all of my love to you and I hope that we can all get through this difficult season together. Have a great one. So these are my tips on staying healthy during, um, blah, blah, blah.